Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. In the last videos we have learned how to use different types of timers in Tia Porta. Today I want to use these timers to flash an output. For this purpose we use a timer to produce on and off signals in an output. In the end we will learn another way to do flashing with clock memory. We want to turn a lamp on and off every two seconds. First, we need a contact as input. We consider this uh, contact as a switch to start the flashing. I give its address. An output that we want to flash. Next step, we want to turn on the lamp for two seconds. So I insert an on delay timer. With PT, we give a time limit. It will be two seconds. Let's simulate. As you know, when we turn on the start, the timer will run and after two seconds, the output will be on. But after two uh, seconds, we need to turn off the lamp. So I need another timer to produce an uh, off signal and reset the first timer. I'm going to give the two seconds again. This timer will be activated when the output of the first timer after two seconds is on. So I insert a contact before the second timer. The output of the first timer will be the input for the second one. Let's simulate again. You see after two seconds the output of the first timer is on. Once the first timer is on, the other timer will be powered. As you see, both timers are now on, but we want to turn off the first one and the lamp after two seconds. For that, I'm going to add a NC contact before the first timer. It will be the output of the second timer. When the second timer is on after two seconds, the NC here will break the circuit and the first timer will be off. I simulate it again. Once 
modify the start value to 1. After 2 seconds, the lamp will be turned on. When the lamp is on, the second timer will run. After that, NC contact will be open and the lamp will be turned off. The opening of the NC contact occurs very fast and we cannot see it. You can change the time of the timers uh, to obtain your desired flashing frequency. For example, I want the off time to be 1 second and on time 3. I change the PT of the timers. As you see, the lamp is 30 seconds on and 1 second off. That was the flashing and output with two timers. But for this purpose, there is another way that we can use it. It's called clock memory. What we need to do is clicking on device configuration and then on the PLC here. From the properties and general, you see system and clock memory. Then we see clock memory bits. If you want to use it, you need to enable it by clicking here. Now it's enabled. Here we can give uh, our desired address, which byte you want to use. You can use whatever you want. I use byte uh, 100. Press enter. Now you can see that we have a 10 Hz uh, frequency at bit memory 100.0. It means this bit uh, will be on and off 10 times per second. 5 Hz at M100.1. Uh, 5 times on and off at memory 100.1. And so on. Now how can we use these uh, memory bits to flash an output? When we activate the memory clock, we need first to compile the program to make the hardware change to be added to our program. If you open the tags, you see the memory bits that are added here and are ready to use. Now I'm going to use these tags in our program. I go to the main. I add a contact as an input start and uh, an output. This time I want the output to uh, flash every second when I press the start. So between start and output, I add a normal open contact. As the address, I choose the M100.7 uh, because this memory bit uh, gives us a 0.5 frequency. If you open the help of the TIA portal, and search uh, clock memory, You see also here bit 7 gives us 0.5 on and off per second. Or in other words, one complete on and off uh, every 2 seconds. Let's start a simulation. I download the change. Be careful to download both uh, hardware and software to the PSC. Without hardware, the memory bit won't work uh, correctly. You see M100.7 is flashing, but the output is still off. Whenever I press start, the circuit will be closed and the frequency will be given to our output. With clock memory, you cannot change the on or off time, and both should be the same. 
Besides that, you have only some predefined frequencies and you cannot change them. I use another frequency. Okay, that was the flashing with timer and clock memory. If you have any more questions, just write it in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.